The classical violinist Charlie Seam has played at some of the greatest concert halls in the world. Lady Gaga is a fan of his work. He's even performed alongside rockers like The Who and Brian Adams. Well, he first picked up the violin at the age of three and his current priceless one is never far from his side. Well, before we chat to Charlie, he's here and he's going to play a piece from his new album. Over to you. Well done, thank you very much, Charlie. Paganini. Paganini. Thank you. Yeah. You come over, come thank and sit, you. and yeah. we will. Uh, it's talk. early to play Paganini. <laughs> okay. no, well, it's woken a lot of us up. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about you then, your background, and how you got to start playing. Uh, well, I started when I was three. Uh, well, I first heard the violin when I was three. I didn't really start properly, I suppose. And then that was the inspiration. And then I just, you know, just kept on going. It's a very lonely instrument, isn't it? Because it normally leads an accompaniment. You've managed not only to to, to play something like that, but you've, you've got the symphony orchestra now playing with you. Things have moved on hugely for you. What do you put that down to? Um, well, I don't mean, it just goes in its sort of natural uh, progression. It's, um, it's just sort of one big adventure, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a lot of hard work, you know, a lot of practice. How often um, do you practice every day? Every day you've got to practice hours a day to sort of stay on top of the instrument in a sort of technical sense. Um, so but, for those uh, parents that are watching, think <laughs> how, you know, because they'll be thinking it's hard enough to get my child to even want to play for 10 minutes, let alone the number of hours that you mm. have to play. What, what's the trick? I mean, did you have to be encouraged? Or was um, it something that you... Because well, I mean, it's, it's difficult when you're young. Support, obviously, so but I mean, I think it has to come from within. I think you have to have, you know, a motivation to do it yourself. But it also, you need people around you that obviously encourage it. What was your school. motivation? <laughs> well, I've just always had a sort of burning passion for the violin, oddly enough. I've always, you know, enjoyed playing it. And now, uh, we, we said you, this never left your side. It is priceless. Tell us a bit about the violin. Yeah, this is a very special violin. It was made in 1735 by Guarneria del Gesù. Um, it was played by the great Yehudi Menuhin, and it was owned by the Prince Wilhelm of Prussia in the 19th century, and it's one of the great violins. And is that what you use for the new album? This is right, absolutely, I played on this violin. And t tell us about the album, what, 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 why did you pick the music that you have? Uh, well, it's a very special album to me. I'm playing a piece um, written by a Norwegian ancestor of mine, Ola Bull, um, which is obviously very special to me. And then there's a piece that was chosen for me to play by Stephen Hawking when I was at Cambridge, the Wieniawski First Violin Concerto. And then the Bruch G minor violin concerto, which is one of the most popular romantic mm. violin concerti. We should um, have a listen. Yes, let's have a, let's have a listen a, to your recording. This is you, I think, recording one of the new pieces. <laughs> Now, a lot of people are going to say, hang on a minute, he's wearing nail varnish. <laughs> There's a story about your little finger on your left hand. You change the colour, is that right? Yeah, well, it's just a bit of fun, really. I mean, it's uh, sort of a ritual that I go through when I'm going to play, uh, and I paint my left pinky. Um, <laughs> 
Any it's colour you fancy, is it, is it pink? <laughs> Gold is my colour at the moment. That's what I'm sort of sticking to at the moment. But yeah, yeah I've tried different Is it sort of rubbing off from the glamour of, uh, of having people like Lady Gaga as, as fans? Maybe what, that, yeah, exactly. What's this like? So I'm just reading. There's this huge roll call of people that are now fans of yours. Anna Winter is a big fan because, of course, we should mention that you are also renowned in the modelling world as well. I don't know about renowned at all. Please. Well, I don't know. You're the <laughs> oh. face of some pretty big names. It impressed our director a little earlier as well, which is no mean feat. Um, <laughs> photographed by Brian Adams, Lady Gaga. I mean, do you get to come into contact with all of these people on a social level, or is it just that they'll say, well, we're fans of your music? Not really. Yeah, no, I've just sort of come across them uh, doing various sort of, you know, performances and things like that and uh, no sort of that's you and lady gaga there isn't yeah. it that looks pretty yeah, social no, that, to me that is yeah no she was very friendly that evening very but, friendly yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in terms of that that mix the classical and obviously the, the more modern that there is a mutual respect and admiration isn't there i know you and brian adams actually got on rather well absolutely yeah but i think everyone has their sort of talents and their sort of strengths and you know, the sort of various fields. And uh, I certainly have a lot of respect for, you know, people who come from a completely different perspective to me. And uh, the sort of concept of improvisation on stage um, that a lot of jazz musicians have is something that I think classical musicians can always learn from, that sense of spontaneity and sort of responding to harmonic changes and things like that. So, yeah, no, I've got a lot of respect for all kinds of musicians. Yeah, you're you know. certainly doing yeah. a lot to make uh, classical music popular. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank pleasure. you. Pleasure. Thank you for having Off me. Off on your travels. We wish you well, and it's good to see you. Charlie, thanks very much for coming in.